early on in bracket as Zenyu warms up by just zero to 90-ing or zero to deathing uh, just random characters that people play. So I'm really excited to see those. Yeah, Zenyu's definitely. combos are absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to be a treat to watch. A lot of people like to say that Ally is the Mario with the superior neutral, but then Zenyu's punish game is absolutely it's ridiculous, man. If they ever combined forces, like if fusion ever becomes a human, like a possible human, you know, technique, I'm quitting Smash because yeah, it's actually it'll, over it'll if Allies and you ever fuse. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be something uh, crazy. I do not care at. who else you put together. <laughs> allies and you will win. I know they will win. <laughs> I would bet my life on it. But here we go, man. So it looks like Tacos for Dinner plays Samus. Different character, actually, to try and Zenyu combo because he is a floaty. Or and if he missteps even a slightest bit, Samus is able to up B out. And if you're near the top last zone, might give him a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, we've seen times where that up B on the first hit and nothing else with a high amount of rage will kill off the top. True. Yeah, shout out to Icy Mist. But anyways, so we're going to go right into game one here. Yep, looks like we're going to Smashville. I like that Samus skin, man. Shout out to this mod, all right? Uh, this saga is doing a, a really cool thing by putting some of the, the Nairo Saga mods or yeah. the, the Nairo mods into the, the Saga stream. So it's really, really cool. Especially the Destruct sound. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to hear it last game because neither of those players really have that dominant down air spike, but maybe we'll see one now. Does Mario's forward air do it? Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. yes. Okay. All right, That's he what gets I'm the grab. For. Let's see what he gets here. Follows yes. the. Follows the down B, gets the air dodge read. Zenyu actually found himself at a death deficit early on. Oh, there's early a jab on, Here we go. Oh, my God. He's falling up air into oh the fair. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. what I'm talking about, man. All right, Zenyu just shut my mouth. I was questioning whether he could uh, combo a floaty, but you know what? No. Nope. This, is, this is what he does, man. Apparently, he eats Samus's for breakfast. Yep. All right, that's just a back getting row. ready for the big day. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing him off stage. Let's see what he does. There's the fair to answer and be able to make it back to the ledge. That being said, Tacos for Dinner not doing too bad. Uh, playing neutral fairly well. It's just when you get hit versus Zenyu, he does so much more damage than you do to him. So you have to win neutral probably 10 times and not let Zenyu win it twice. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a really rough. It's so hard. <laughs> All right, now try finding something with that empty hop, but Zenyu answering back first with the back air. Let's see what he does with the ledge again. Yeah, really difficult spot to be in, but he's actually been finding a lot of uh, a lot of success with coming up with just that fair. It's pretty hard to punish from Samus, and if it hits on shield, Samus can actually just drift back to the ledge and try again. Uh, Sam, oh my God, he actually went for the destruct. Yeah, whoa! Oh wow! He okay. Actually, I think he took out the jump or something with that up B, and so he's not able to make it back. But just yeah. runs in and up smash. What an answer <laughs> to even out this game. All right. That's how I know Zenyu's frustrated. He is actually we're pretty good friends. He told me time and time again, I hate killing with up smash. I want to <laughs> combo them to death. I want to bear them. I want to like down air them off the top. He hates having to kill people with up smash. So the fact that he threw the, throws that out just shows me like, man, <laughs> this Samus is frustrating him a little bit. Yeah. That being said, huge deficit here for uh, Tacos for dinner now. It's gonna be hard to make up. However, we might see the dash attack up B. One of the most shenanigan things in Smash 4. <laughs> oh, dash attack gets a uh, up air, not quite gonna be able to follow up though. Tries getting the up smash, not quite gonna be able to get it. Trades with the Nair. There's a the flood to send him off stage a little bit. Gets a pressure, calls out that roll. Let's see what Zenyu does here. Yeah, I think uh, the big story of this set is going to be can Zinyu uh, finish his food, so to speak, before Tacos for Dinner is able to really utilize his rage. Well, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Yeah, uh, read the fair into the stage to try and get back on again uh, because he fell for that last time. And then calling out that re grab was able to get that forward smash. Yep. Super hot fire. Good stuff to Zinyu selling out that first game. Pretty dominant on his side. Tacos for Dinner uh, definitely had some some good moments there in the yeah. first stock, but after losing the first stock, it kind of fell apart for him. Didn't yeah, get much going after that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Zenyu just with uh, two quick answers, was able to take yeah. him to 90 and then pretty much put him in a bad position to that's, that's how it close goes. out that stock, man. So Tacos for Dinner, I'm assuming, is going to counterpick Town and City. Oh, no, we're going to uh, Final Destination, it looks like. All right. Okay. Doesn't want to deal with any platforms that might take him off the top, yep. like you said, like how Zenyu wants to do it. True. It's going to be forcing Zenyu to play a little bit more neutral. As I said, gets the grab right away. Only gets a fair, though. Not quite going to be able to get much else. The other thing you'll notice about Zenyu, and you'll maybe not entirely just this set, but if you watch Zenyu all day or watch Zenyu throughout the course of a tournament, his spacing gets better with every single set and every single game. Like, game one is usually a lot closer than the rest of the games because it takes him a minute to really adjust to spacing, but he prioritizes spacing in neutral over a lot of other things. It looks like he's just... Crazy combos, just run in, get one hit, and then go from there. But like, he theorizes and theory crafts about neutral and spacing a lot, just like microspaces too. He'll talk about it for the whole car ride from our house to MSM. It's basically all microspacing talk. So, and you see it now already. That lead that uh, Tacos for Dinner was able to get in the first game is 
uh, all but faded in game two. Yeah, right now Zenyu, whenever See? he, oh my Look at goodness. That. Amazing. Whenever, whenever Zenyu gets the advantage position, he's able to read Taco's dinner so hard. Yeah. And he's able to get these crazy punishes because of it. Okay, big dash attack for Tacos for dinner, but not able to get much except clips him with a couple hits of the up air and uh, just tacking on some percent, but he's going to need to seal this out. Mario and Rage is not where you want to be, and you really don't want to be next to this ledge right now. Yeah, right Great now. Great job not air dodging there from Tacos for dinner. Yeah, right now Tacos for dinner, he is throwing out a lot of air dodges, though, and for the most part, Zenyu is able to call out most of them. Tries yep. finding the pivot grab, not quite going to be able to take it, though. Yeah, he was able to drift away from that punish, but still, those air dodges are definitely going to get him killed if he doesn't uh, clean it up just a little bit or try to mix up his landings. Samus has pretty good hitboxes now. Uh, they were severely uh, buffed, so you can just come down with a hitbox every once in a while as well. Yeah. Right now, Zenyu's got oh. him at the ledge again. There's a flood to send him out just a little bit more. Throwing oh. some fireballs. Tries getting the dunk. Not quite, though. Try getting the forward smash again. Not quite going to be able to take the stock, though. But still, Zenyu keeping up a lot of pressure. There's the up smash for Tacos for dinner. He wants to dunk him so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. He actually gets him killed. OK. Yeah. So maybe we'll see another up smash kill from Zenyu. And just do it the safe way. All right, there's a charge shot. Actually, yeah. I think this is the first time Tacos Veneer is able to really charge the charge shot uh, and get it uh, readily available. His place is a grab and finds himself at the ledge one more time. No air dodge there, which uh, Zinni was definitely trying to scout out and end it with that forward smash. So good stuff. Not air dodging in the high pressure situation. Rolls up again and gets away with it. Yeah, this man's just spamming forward smash. He really wants it. All right, there's a grab. Let's see what he does with it. Just back throws him off. Yeah, he's going to offer the back throw just to get stage control. And uh, maybe seal oh this out. He wants Power to dunk shields him, so the get up attack. Oh okay, yeah, he finally just decides up smash is where it's gonna <laughs> gonna have to be. Yeah, he was, uh, uh, no he was forward air. Climbing in the percents where it was kind of hard to try and find anything yeah. else unless you got a really hard read. So then he's gonna be able to close that out 2-0. Yeah. With some pretty nice combos in there, I really love that jab lock in the beginning of the yeah, first. Yeah, jab lock was great. A great way to start the set. Mm -hmm. All right, man. So Zenyu's going to move on in winners. Tacos for dinner, I, I feel like he's going to take a couple sets in losers, though. Yeah, he was uh, definitely not a bad player, to say the least. No, when you're up against uh, a guy who absolutely 